and hit record. Good morning. Hello there. Bonjour. Good morning. Happy Monday. <clears throat> Come on in. Welcome to the Shack Shack. Are you there? My hands are so dried out. It's all this artwork. I'll regret this in a minute. You wait when I start sliding all over the tracing paper. <laughs> it's all right. It's got to be done. Come on in. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely to see you. sunny Southampton. Hmm. Not so sunny in Crowborough, but the sky is actually blue, interestingly. Come on in. It's lovely to have your company. Cool. Downtime. Who watched the telly last night? Who watched the telly at eight o'clock this morning? Hey, did anybody join me in, in uh, at Hochanda this morning at eight o'clock? That was another busy show. I like Catherine. She's a nice, nice woman. She knows her stuff as well, you know. Catherine's the presenter, by the way, at Hochanda. Right, come on in. Let's have a look. It's early to the party today. Calming down. Come on in. Grab a seat. I've turned the heating up. It's a little bit fresh. There's a radiator over there. So if you want to warm your cockles, sit over that side. <laughs> right. OK, let's have a look. It's good to have your company. We're on these mandalas, aren't we? I'm looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to it all weekend, finishing this. Morning, everyone from overcast, rainy Devon. Morning, Christine. Where are you? Where are you? Tell me, where are you? It'd be lovely to see how far the old shack shack reaches. Hmm? Oh, that's quite good cream, that one. Let's have a look. Three minutes to, and the sound is perfect. Thank you, Lucy. Lucy's with, the, with us today. Lovely Lucy's in the building with you. So she'll be able to help you if you have any questions. You know, sometimes it's not the eyesight, it's just the state of the glasses, isn't it? Come on in. Yeah, I need to just calm down. It was a really busy day yesterday on TV. The old adrenaline goes then. And then the problem is I can't sleep because it's not finished, you see. It carries on the following day. So I'm thinking about it and thinking about the, 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 the demos and oh, it's just the way I'm wired. It's a good thing, really. Oh, that's better. <laughs> it's a good thing, really, isn't it? Front row after a wet dog walk. <laughs> Come on in, Caroline. Yeah, we've been thinking about getting a dog. We used to have two beautiful black labs, Duchess and Duke, Duchy and Duke. But they're in Rainbow. They're on Rainbow Bridge now. But they live to a good old age. And it was when you when you've had dogs and cats, and then you don't have any dogs and cats, you do miss them, don't you? But they're a heartbreaker, as Dave always says. They're a heartbreaker. So um, yeah. But the more we stay in lockdown at the moment, the more I'm thinking. Well, I'm here all the time. You know, could do with a bit of company, really. Little lab, hey, little black lab. Wouldn't that be lovely? Cool. He'd be all over it in here. The thing about black labs, though, they, cool, I remember we used to open the kitchen door and, and the wind, it would be like tumbleweed, the hair, you know. You could stuff a small pillow with, with what they molted, what they shed every day. <laughs> so, you know, that, that is the downside, isn't it? The, they, there's no, nah, it's not a downside, is it? It's just the way it is. It's not a downside at all. What am I talking about? It's only because we've got light carpets. I'm thinking, oh, but come on, Grey. Carpets, Labrador, what am I saying? <laughs> be fine, be fine. Be fine, I'll, I'll get him a pair of slippers, little... <laughs> Could knit him a little pair of slippers, couldn't we? Hey, little mask. Cut the slippers. <laughs> come on in, I'm losing it already. We haven't even started yet. Okay, come on. Is it 10 o'clock? It is. 
Welcome to the Shack Shack. Safe, happy and creative. Stay home and craft. That's right. And here we are in our safe environment, in our homes, knuckling down, turning up the heating, I hope. It's certainly dropped. The temperature's dropped, hasn't it? Hey, the temperature's dropped. Garden furniture in the shed. Hey, I'm drying out all the garden seats because we got caught out. So they're all draped all over the kitchen at the moment. Stimmy. Um, but I think we're going to be putting them away for another year or so. Well, not a whole year. Till next year. Hey. South Yorkshire, dry but chilly. Nice. Dry but chilly, good for a walk. Are we ready to rock and roll? Come on then. Let's have a look at, in case you're just surfing the net and wondering, who's that? Dappy English bird. Um, she's Barbara Gray and she's got a company in England called Cl Clarity Stamp Limited. <clears throat> and we make all sorts of lovely crafty goodies for crafters and artists. And every day, well, no, not every other day now, isn't it? Monday, Wednesday and Friday, we hang out. Uh, we do Facebook Live and we doodle and we create art and we, we do a little bit of yoga for the mind calming down hey tuning in so let's have a look what we're doing isn't that pretty so that's that's where we're headed isn't it and the idea behind this in case you're not sure is that we left a good a good opening in the middle so that we could put the different seasons in do you remember so we're going to put let me change my glasses now we're going to put in winter and spring and summer. There, like that, little Labrador. I think, you see, I believe you, you move towards what you picture in your mind. So I'm going to start imagining a little black lab running around. <laughs> see, and the idea is that eventually, when we've got all this traced out, because we're not quite there yet, when we've got all this traced out, then we can flip it over and then we can transfer it. Say this is on this piece of tracing paper, then we can transfer it. Well, you wouldn't put it on another bit of tracing paper, would you? You put it on the, on the actual card. But the idea is that then you can do what I would call partial art. So just do this part of the, the mandala or this part. It looks so arty. Let me show you my original sketch, which was where we were kind of moving. See, so you just use bits of it but because it's all on tracing paper you can just transfer the bits you want i think it looks really smashing anyway it's my it's my idea of arty so what we're going to do today is we're going to crack on with this one so what do you need you need a piece of tracing paper you sure do need some tracing paper so we've got that on we sell that don't we and if you haven't got tracing paper use a bit of parchment a little bit extravagant tracing paper is a lot cheaper and then you just need a pencil, HB pencil, sharpener, and the download. Download is key. Lucy's good at this. She designed it, right? Let me show you what we're working on, because there's no way you could do this kind of mandala freehand without a little bit of support. Um, and so what we've got is this, this wheel, really clever. And as soon as you see that underneath, you know, oh, okay, easy. Yeah, well, easier. Um, it just means that you can, you can use the lines, the concentric lines, the spokes, and it really helps to design your mandala, see? Because you just go with the lines. It's, it's, it's really fun to do too. Really relaxing, actually. I find it very relaxing. So if you need this download, speak to Lucy. She will give you the link and you can print it off. If you haven't got the, um, if you haven't got a printer, then just private email her your address and she'll print one off and she'll send it to you, you know. Uh, and if you're watching this at a later date and Lucy's no longer hanging out with you, then just email Clarity Stamp at email um, info at claritystamp.com. That'd be the best one. Yeah. Or yeah, in, info at claritystamp.com. Or Lucy at claritystamp.com. Even better. Because at least she knows what you want. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, shall we get started? That's all right, Lucy, isn't it? Let's get started and um, we'll sharpen our pencil and today we're going to start with the... You watch, I'm going to be wiping my hands now for the next hour because of the, the cream. So we're going to start, going to do this next pattern. So we got, let's have a look, we got as far as this one, didn't we? Should we come in a bit closer? Let's have a look. We can come in a little bit closer, can't we? Stay there. Let's just see if I can do this from where I'm standing. Just bear with me a second. Let's see if I can, yeah, there you go, sorted. Good. So we've gone as far as this one. We've done this one. See, it looks a lot busier because we, um, because of the grid in the background. But in fact, to take this away, it's the same, see? All right? But you need the grid. So we've gone as far as this one. Let me put this behind there so that's not too busy. And now we're going to work on, this was a really nice one, I liked this one. Now we're on the last, we're on the home run. So we're going to, if we just hone in on this particular image, let's go to the camera up close and then let it just focus and then we'll have a really good look at what we're doing. Let it focus. Isn't that lovely? Right, so what we're going to do today is, let me just, these ones, this Hang on, Barbara. Let me just hold it like this so I can actually see what I'm doing. This is rubbish trying to do it from the top. I don't know how the presenters do it. Come in here like that. Right, now I'm on, I'm on it. We're going to do this and this and these, this bit here. So it's these bits here, this and this. Yeah? So if we ignore all this round here, the, this bit, and just concentrate your eye on this, like, like petals, and a little bud. That's just that bit there, okay? Just concentrate on that. And then you'll see where we're going. And, and let me get my eye in. I'm having a real adrenaline rush from the TV, but that's normal. That's perfectly normal. It takes about half an hour to an hour to come down. So I'll, 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 be my, I'll be slowing down here very soon. Right, so what we're going to do first is, if you look, right, it's in the middle here. And what, if you look at the, you're going to go from the middle of this bit. Are you all right? Can you see this all right? You're going to go from the middle of this bit, see here, there, and you're going to come round like that. So let me just show you. If we go to the curl, it's going to be like that. So basically from here, we're going to come up like that. This is quite a difficult one I found, like that. If I just do one, like that. Just let me do one, like that. And then, this one's going to come like that, the other way. But, do you remember when we did this last time? I, f I personally find it easier to go all, every other one in that direction and then go back the other way. So let me just make sure I've got it right because I don't want to go all the way around and go, oh, no, that wasn't right. Let me just check. So if I... I've got it exactly right. Yeah. So you're going to go... I'm going to do that one like so, right? And then back to the middle again of this one. And then you've got to get your eye in on this. So it's almost like you, you, you know when we levitate over the, before we press down, like that. I noticed somebody on uh, on Friday, they went, oh no, swirls. <laughs> so let's just do this, every other one. Just bear in mind, you're in the middle, like that, and you're going to come round like that. Don't worry about the finished result, you just concentrate on your swirl, like that. That's a bit dodgy, that one. Right, in we go, like that, 
round and round. There you go. If you don't like it, don't press too hard. Go really lightly until you see the swirl that you want. And then press it in. So from that point there, and then go round really lightly. There you go. Are you tuning in now? Right, it is, it's like tuning in, isn't it? Feels like that. I'm just gonna lean on something because I've got greasy hands now from me oxidine. Right, round, round. How are you anyway? How was your weekend? Good. I'm gonna add mine in a minute. It was a super busy Sunday yesterday. Cool, blimey. The two to four show went mad. Right, in the middle again. Round we go. It's good though. Grateful, very grateful. It's nice when the old stuff, the old designs and, you know, that they're still so popular. It's great. And it's nice to, it's really actually quite nice to know that I haven't lost my touch, you know. As the business has got bigger and bigger and bigger, my, obviously my role has changed, hasn't it? So it's very different to when, you know, years ago, it just used to be, you know, a couple of us. And uh, that was just me and a brayer, wasn't it? Me, the dog and the brayer. <laughs> and, um, and then, of course, you know, because of the commercial aspect of the business, you end up always, when you get involved with TV, which is a good thing as well for the business, but it means that you, you have to keep bringing out new, bringing out new, bringing out new, you know. And uh, and then some of the old stuff is gold stuff, you know. Some of our oldest designs are our best designs. And they might not be as profitable in as much as, you know, people tend to already have them, you know, that sort of thing. But yesterday, clearly, <laughs> you, you, you hadn't already got it, because it went mad. Which is, you know, is, I find that very gratifying. And not from a financial point of view, from a design point of view. That gives me hope. I don't think you run out of ideas. Well, I don't think we run out of ideas. It's not that. We've got, we've got such a creative team. Like Lucy and Lisa and Jim. and So many real creatives in, in the building. I myself... Yeah, I never stop having ideas. But it's nice not to have to always be flogging new stuff, you know. I like it. I like it a lot. Right, now we've gone that way. Brum, 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 brum. How's yours looking? A bit ropey, that one. It's all right, though, because in the end, you see, you've got to look at the bigger picture. It's the bigger picture, isn't it? So now we're going to go around the other way. How's it working? Good. Bit of a stretch. Come on. Stretch your neck. Stretch. Oh, does it crack when you do that? It goes crack, crack, crack. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Downtime. Yeah. Just downtime. And it's like, I've been on that channel and now I'm coming to this channel. It's like a radio. It's like a frequency. And, and I like this frequency. You know, just bringing it down to our, start tuning it in, isn't it? Yeah, here we are again, in the Shack Shack. It's a different level, it's like, um, it's just a bunch of friends hanging out, staying safe, doodling, you know? There's nothing attached to it, there's no, it's just what it is, it's pure, you know? And of course, you know, you do, you, you buy the pencils and you buy, when I say, oh, 
you know, we've got colour in pencil, we've got this, or you're tracing paper, you do buy it. And I appreciate it, I really appreciate it. But it's, there's no necessity. If you've got tracing paper, all you need is a pencil. We're giving you the download. You know, there's not that, there's not that pressure for me, you know. So it's a different, it's like a different channel, different frequency. And whilst I, I love Hochanda and I love the community there, of course I do, and we wouldn't be here without them. I don't think so. Um, having said that, this is a different frequency, you know, Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And it does the soul good, doesn't it? Hey? So let's have a look. This time we're going to go round the other way. So that takes a little bit of, because the arm's going, the arm's got used to stirring the gravy that way and now we've got to stir the gravy the other way. <laughs> right, you ready? So we'll go the other way now. Uh, yeah, definitely this doesn't come as naturally to me this way round. Let's have a look. It's like a moustache. There you go. So we're going to take our time as well. Doesn't matter, look, I can't. And I'm staring at it and I still got it wrong. <laughs> Stupid. Right, you ready? Okay, come on, concentrate, Barbara. That's not a bad idea. Since I'm not... Okay. Top tip, top tip. Right, so come down like that and then come round the other way. So how about that? So you join them. That's not a bad idea. Look, actually, Grey, that's a really good idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you come down like that in that direction. And then, and then you join up the other side. So you come from that side and that side. Sweeping round. Do you think I've done this all along? All right, so like that and like that. Like that and like that. There you go. On the bar. How is everyone? What's the time? Of course, it's only quarter past. There we are. It's all right, the sound hasn't gone, it's just me in the zone here. Yes. So. Calm down, slow down. Calm down, slow down. That's what I've got to do. Calm down, slow down. I think you get the best result if you slow it right down. It's good for the head as well, but calm down, slow down. There we are. Cool. I think it's important for all of us at the moment to calm down and slow down, especially the calm down bit. I think the old, um, the COVID-19 situation is heightening anxiety again. Or should I say, what we're being told is heightening anxiety again. You know, it's that old news feed again, isn't it? I was listening, I actually did tune into the news, you know, the BBC. And the music, when it goes, deep. Deep, deep. And then at six o'clock it goes. Duh, 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 duh. It's like drama. It's drama news, music, isn't it? It's not watching. It's not watching mother music, is it? When it starts, it's that kind of. Oh, oh, oh here we go. Drama music. The um. The opening tune. Well, can't call it a tune, could you? It's like a crescendo. Like. Dum, 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 and you think, here we go again. <laughs> Brace yourself, Rodney. It's coming. <laughs> yeah. If I was in charge of the BBC News, I would change the music at the beginning because I think that just gets you going to start with. It's like, it's like, um, <laughs> I was never able to watch Jaws. I've never watched Jaws, the film, right? Because I couldn't get past the music at the beginning. <laughs> you know that? It's been terrifying. 
<laughs> so I've never actually been able to watch. And there was another one that I could never watch because I couldn't get past the music. Yeah, Silence of the Lambs. That's another one I couldn't see. Because when she's jogging through, I, I saw it to the point where she was jogging through the woods. <laughs> and, then, and the music was so menacing. It was like, nah, I can't cope with this. My anxiety, my anxiety levels were through the roof. And they hadn't even, I don't think they'd even put up who was in the film, you know. But the music was like, doo, 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 and it just freaks you out. And I think the six o'clock news is no different. So I'm going to start a petition <laughs> that they need to change the music because you're already gripping the armchair before they've even opened their mouths. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. Um, and here we are in the Shack Shack. It's all right, you know. <laughs> it's okay. We're not mad. They are. Right. So we've gone all the way around and we've done the... That wasn't so hard, was it? Now this one here, it's a little bit more open. I closed mine up a little bit. Doesn't matter. It's, it's this or it's that. Right. I like it. And I like it touching too. Choices, choices. These look good now. Right, and I'm reinforcing the fact that they're touching because I like it that much. Okay, let's have a look. See, that's the thing, you see. When you get into these, these are quite addictive. Doesn't that look pretty? Oh, that looks so pretty. So pretty. So now we've done that. The next thing we've got to do, right, let's hold this over the top so we can see. Right, so we've done that, that bit there. So the next thing is where they join, we're going to make this, aren't we? This bird. Yeah? Should we do that next? I've got to get my iron on this one. See, without the old uh, the grid in the background, you'd have, you'd have a job, wouldn't you? So the bud, it goes from, there you are, it goes from that line up to that line. So it jumps three lines. It goes to there, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check. I don't want it to go wrong at this stage. Yeah, so it goes all the way. It jumps to the third line up. Look, it goes to here. So it goes from there to there. So it comes out like that and in again. Oh, this is going to be tricky. No, don't be, don't start, Gray. Let's just get your eye in and let's make a bud. Like that. It's just a circle. Nice. Okay. And then the other way as well. Oh, that's one done. <laughs> but there you go. It's not a race, is it? Let's make sure we do this right, though. I don't want to mess this up. Yeah, it's in between like every other one, not there, there, right? So then you miss that one and then you go into... So this is like an unfurled leaf, right? And then the bud comes in here to the third one. So then we'll go like that. Are you fast at this? There you go. Not so bad. And to a point. And then every other one. Once you get your eye in, you get in the groove, it's okay, isn't it? One. Two. A bit fatter. Okay, slim it down a bit. That'll do. That one again. To there. I think one of the other things that we've got to know is we're not mandala designers, are we? Well, we are now, but we're not experts. We're just figuring it out as we go along. Mm -hmm. And and there's no pressure on anybody here to perform, is there? It's not like, I mean, that, that I think is the intrinsic difference between what we do in the Shack Shack and shopping telly. Because for me, Slow down, calm down, slow down. And we're just learning different patterns and different doodles. It's like I keep saying, it doesn't really matter what we do. 
as long as we hang out together, we do something creative, eh? It's just adding another little trick, another little technique to your, your toolbox, your set of skills, isn't it? And I find when I'm doing this, it just, well, it just completely, it levels everything out for me. Doesn't it, you? Just, and my hope is that you, well, I do know that you do this, if you if you have moments of anxiety during the daytime or or unhappiness or loneliness or or your head's playing games with you because it does 98% of what our head tells us is complete rubbish you know and when that happens i find this kind of work because you've got to kind of focus on what you're doing haven't you you've got to concentrate i find that this sort of this kind of doodling, especially this, and colouring as well does it too. Um, it just stops your head running away with rubbish. There you go. So, and the mandala, this sort of pattern building, is brilliant really, because you've got that wheel. You could do anything, couldn't you? You just kind of move between the lines and do different patterns. You can do whatever you fancy. It's your art. Nobody's judging you. It's not a competition and not an exam at the end. We're not going to have a mandala test on Wednesday. <laughs> can you imagine that? <laughs> right. <laughs> You've had to postpone the mandala exam on Friday. Yeah, it's all good, you know. Just got to keep going, haven't we? There you go. <laughs> Just got to keep going. Stay safe. I think turn the heating up. That's what I was thinking when I went to bed last night. I thought, oh, I've got to turn the heating up. I think. Look, isn't it amazing how it works? Look, <laughs> you always think you're going to get to the end and there's going to be an odd one. But miraculously, it's worked every time so far. There. Lucy, you like this, don't you? I know she does. Lucy's a real... Do you do yoga, Lucy? If you've met Lucy, she's that kind of woman. You know, she's very, very measured in what she says, very careful what she puts out there into the universe, you know, just really, yeah. I would imagine sometimes you, when you're speaking to her, I do the same thing too, but she does it more than me. And then she gives her response. She thinks before she speaks. Isn't that great? You know, and, and she's very measured. It's almost, I, I, she'd met a great yoga teacher. You know, she's got that kind of real lovely calmness about her. Haven't you, Lucy? So now we've done that, let's have a look. You keeping up with me? Right, I reckon we need to sharpen our pencil a little bit now. Okay. HB, all the way. See, you'd probably get a better result You'd probably get a better result, use your T's, Barbara, if you <clears throat> used a different pencil, like an F or something. But I've got to know that I want to transfer it, you see. And in the transfer, I need a bit of graphite. I need some sort of lead on the back to transfer. So these ones have got lines in them. I was looking at these. Um, right, let's leave those for a minute. We'll come back to those. These are good, these are easy. So this one here, what we're gonna do now is this bit in between here. This is a bit of a, not a fiddle, 
Let me just get a piece of white card. That'll do. Right, let's go in tighter again so that we can have a look at what we're doing next. Are you happy? Are you all right with this? Let's have a look. Right, so now, see, we've done our thingy. We haven't done the middle bits yet. We'll do that in a minute. Now we're going to do this band, like the ribbon that runs all the way around the outside. And it's got two tiny little lines. You see? Look here. Let's have a look here. It's got two little lines, like little gutters, and then it's it, then it's the trellis or the lattice all the way around, right? So let's do the lines first, and then we'll do the infill. And I think I think that's the thing about all of this, is it, you, if you look at the the finished picture, the finished piece, you go, no way, never going to happen, right? But over three days, we've broken this down with a little bit of help with our, with our grid friend from Lucy, right, which definitely helps. Okay. Is my, is my microphone making a funny noise, Lucy? But what I'm saying is when you, when you break it down, it suddenly, it becomes so easy, doesn't it? So now... This line here is this is a piece of cake, this one, because all it is is this line here, that one there, and that one there. So you can't even see what you're doing really because you're just following the line. So it's that one and that one, yeah. But then, right, let's do that one and that one first. Let's just go round, do that one and that one. Just keep your eye in on that one. Right, round we go again. Let's just keep this going. Like that. So we're going to go swing low, sweet chariot. Right, here we go. So you go swing that way and then swing that way. And you just stay on that line. <sighs> Look, let's see what we've done. I think it's not making a funny noise. It's absolutely fine. Thank you, Lucy. <laughs> see? So that's what we're doing here. Because we're following the line, you can't see it, see? Right, here we go. Okay. So you're going to go swing that way and then go back the other way, just so we get a double load of graphite, like that. Round we go. Stay on that line. Yeah, nice. <sighs> That'll do. Okay. Yeah. I can feel myself coming down now. Just funny, isn't it? Sometimes I drive myself potty. Just overthinking stuff. Do you do that? And then I remember that it, it's, it serves absolutely no purpose. I'm getting better, I have to say. This COVID uh, lockdown, one of the good things to come out of it for me is that I've, I've had to teach myself. I think necessity is the mother of all invention, isn't it? You know, um, I, I, I've had to sort of teach myself to calm down because I was reaching real anxiety levels that I, I wasn't I wasn't comfortable with you know when it starts to affect your breathing you know and you haven't got you haven't got any problems except it's all in your head yeah and then I thought right I'm gonna have to change the way I see things because it's all in my mind and that's all right actually oh I'm cool cool with it there you go right now Looking, looking, looking. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? So, oh, look at that. You know what I mean? This is so nice. And it's that layer on layer on layer. And this one would look so nice on its own. If we, if you got rid of the middle one, I can't show you without showing you the middle. Just that on its own, wouldn't that look glorious? Oh, yeah. This could be... A full-time job. If you had nothing else to do and you could actually make a living drawing mandalas, you would, wouldn't you? 
that. Let's take that out. So we've done that, we've done that. Now we need to go round and we need to put the second line in. This is going to be a bit more. Let's have a look now. Right, second line. And the reason I'm flicking to a different camera is because I need to get over with my head. Can you you can see, see this fine, can't you? But to get it really, really balanced, I need to come over with my head. See? And now, I tell you now, I need to go slowly. Slowly. And I can, I'll do both of them at the same time. Slowly. If you don't go slowly, it's not even. It's not, it's not equidistant. Quite a long word, Barbara, for a Monday. Where are we here? You can't really see what I'm doing, but I am doing it. And then come, it's on the inside of the line you've just done. That's all. Just a really, like a sliver of a border. Let's have a look. If you can see it. I bet you can see it if I put a bit of paper behind it. That always helps, doesn't it? Where is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That. There. See? See the sliver? That's all we're doing now. Could you do it without... Yes, you could. This is the one occasion where you could actually do it from... The... See, we've... without all the gubbins behind. See? Yeah, a little less congested, isn't it? Slowly, slowly. Round we go. There we are. Chill time, eh? This actually is nice to do if you don't need all the... See, if you do that, busy, not busy. Busy, you see better if you, don't, if you don't have that behind. Have you got a little thing that you're sliding in and out to check your progress? That works better without. There you go. So there you go, we just learnt something new. It's cool. When I was um, today, L Linda Williams, her plates, um, these these groovy plates that we've just launched on TV, the patterns in them are so beautiful, just so beautiful. And I'm going to have another closer look at them because I think that there are some superb doodles in there as well, you know. Like to fill, fills. Just gorgeous. I don't know where she gets her ideas. She, she's like me. She never stops thinking, thinking. She's no different. I know. We're we're, we're often in like we were we were um, texting about ten minutes before the shack chat this morning, and we were texting at nine o'clock last night. We we're always messaging and chatting and. I've had an idea and she's had an idea and what do you think about this idea? And it's lovely, isn't it? It's good to have a friend like that. It's good to have a friend like that, you know, that understands how your head works. Right, so now we've done that. We've got that double line in there as well. So we're building up here, aren't we, to the crescendo. Because <laughs> what we want now, we've got to put this zigzagging here, this the mesh, and we've got to put those lines in. So I'm thinking we'll do the lines first. We'll do the we'll do the petal things first, shall we? Oh, it's quite busy when you take that away, isn't it? Let's have a look. Ah, oh, stretch your neck a bit. Come on, stretch, stretch, stretch. While you stretch your neck, I'll just count this quickly. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I thought it was ten. I remember it being 10. Right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. 
How do you feel about doing that first? Yeah? Let me just get the angle right. Angle, like that. One. Yeah, OK, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, there's an eleven in there as well. Right, really tight this is. Right? So you get the angle going, it's like like that. And then we're gonna start. So just get an angle. Yeah, okay. Don't want to get it too too angly. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no, I should be more technical. You work it out. Come on, it's not rocket science. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one worked. Got me eye in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes? Start in that corner and then just make a line as if you're going to make a cross. But don't. Just do all in one direction first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You can't really talk and do this one. <laughs> you really can't. So my guess is, oh, no, you see, I've got a count. Let's have a look what it looks like so that you don't go into the, the little double line, the little sliver frame that you made as well. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, doesn't that look sharp? Oh, I love this. Check that out. Hang on. See? That's pretty, isn't it? Just in one direction. We haven't even gone back in the other direction yet. All these options, options, options. See, that's another thing is you do have choices. You've got lots of choices. Right, here we go again. I need quite a tight, I need a nib on this one to do this. Yeah, okay. Right, here we go again. Start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven, eight, nine, ten, a bit wider. Does the job. Listen. The Mandala police aren't going to start knocking at the door if you get it wrong. One, two, three, four, five. And eight, nine. It is not possible to count and talk at the same time I've just established. <laughs> you can't. Ce n'est pas possible. Right? So, yeah, do you know, I've never realised that before, but you cannot talk and count at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> We were talking about pin numbers the other day and how when, you know, you're at a shop, I mean, and then the, the, the shop assistant says, um, please enter your pin. And then you, you, you say it out loudly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's got a bit more of an angle on it. Hello, grey, what happened there? That's because I'm not... See, really, 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 you ought to... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Only two more to go. 
Now I understand. Years ago, when I was trying to figure out about how to do white work with parchment, this is before I knew Linda and I didn't have any friends in the parchment world. In fact, we were the pariahs, weren't we? Because we were cheating with our groovy system. And so I was Googling to try and find out different, you know, like tips. And, um, and I was trying to find out about white work. And I found this video. Oh, I don't know how many lines I've got here. I found this video of this lady, American lady. And she was doing white work. Right? And as she was doing it, I understand now, because she couldn't talk and do it at the same time. You can't, right? <laughs> She's going, long stroke, short stroke, long stroke, short stroke, long stroke, long stroke, short stroke, long stroke, short stroke, right? So I watched it and I thought, oh, that makes sense. Long stroke, short stroke, long stroke, short stroke, long stroke, short stroke. So I was watching it. And I thought, well, in a minute, she'll move on to something else. <laughs> Half an hour I watched this, long stroke, short stroke, long stroke. And I kept thinking, in a minute, she's going to move on to something else. And then at the end, she'd made this beautiful card, long stroke, short stroke. And then the video was finished. That was it. <laughs> and I understand her now. Long stroke, short stroke. You can't go long stroke, short stroke and be talking about something else at the same time. It doesn't work like that. So respect. I didn't. I kept thinking she's going to tell me something in a minute. She's going to tell me something new, but she didn't. Long stroke, short stroke, long stroke, short stroke. Her work was immaculate, absolutely beautiful, because she focused on what she was doing. One stroke at a time. One long stroke and then one short stroke at a time, in fact. Yeah. And so with this, quite honestly, you cannot be chatting while you're doing it. And that's not a bad thing, because that means... You're in the moment, you're on that line, and you're not worrying about some other thing that you can't control. So now, guess what? <laughs> Long stroke, short stroke, we've got to go the other way. Right, shall we have a look first at what, hang on, it's the wrong camera. Let's have a look what we've done so far. Isn't that pretty? You see now that, every time we stop at a stage, it just looks so delightful, doesn't it? Right, we're going around the other way now. <laughs> now, let me think. I wonder, does it help me if I... I've got the... Yeah, I need the grid, I think. Yeah, that middle line does help, you know. Let's have a look. So we're going to go that way this time. This one's going to be a bit slower. Because you're joining up the core, blimey, Barbara. Right. <laughs> this is a real test of multitasking. See that one there, right? So what you've got to do now is when you go this way, you're actually joining the ones that you did that way. You're not just going random, da 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 you know, and listening to Radio 2 at the same time. You're actually joining up the ends. <laughs> so do I want the lines or do, can I cope without them? Let's have a look. Oh, I've got the right glasses on. Oh, yeah, that's much better, she said, optimistically. Right, so we're going to go like that, and then that one goes to that one, and that one goes to that one, and that one goes to that one. Cool, I'm starting to sound like that lady on there. And that one goes to that one, and that one goes to that one. And that one goes to that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's doable. <laughs> you wait. Right, so that one goes to that one. That one goes to that one. Crikey. Crikey. Yeah. <laughs> now you don't need to count. Now you just need to join them up. And may I say, right, that it's easier without the grid behind on this jobby. So you're going to go the third one along and then you join it with that one. See? Like that. And you may think this is way too pedantic. And I probably would agree with you. <laughs> That'll do. Just come on, eye in. 
one, two, three, and then you're going to cut across like as X. That. It's all right. <laughs> Start laughing now. Great. It look really nice when it's done. Yeah, looks lovely. Over we go. Cool. Is my head in the way? Because really, what I'd like to do is go in closer with my head. Because I can actually see what I'm doing. <laughs> but if I do, let me show you what I want to do. I want to do that, right? Which is rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> I know without even looking at the camera. If I do it the way I want to do it, right, so I can actually see the lines, you're not going to see much of anything, are you? So, that's okay though. That's why we've got a third camera. Right, so now I can go in over the top. Right, here we go. Oh, one, two, three. Join up the little. Hatch and then cross hatch, eh? It's all right, you know, once you figure out what you're supposed to be doing. Now you know why I kept saying you need 10. Oh, this one's going to be a bit dodgy though because oh, that's all right. You just got to keep joining them up. Oh, hang on. What do you think? I think it's necessary to be that fussy. i tell you what it is, though, as well. If you're doing this, you're not thinking about anything else other than these lines, are you? You know? Look, it actually does look really nice when you do it properly. Rather than just... You know what I mean? Random. Let's get these lines in so that that joins to that one. That one joins to that one. It's three along, isn't it? And if you go slowly, you see. Cool, you've got to have good eyesight as well. <coughs> One, two, three. Come on, who's throwing all their toys out the pram? Who said, don't be ridiculous, I'm not doing this? Anybody? Or are we sticking with it? Are you using, you're not using a ruler, are you? That's even longer. Come on, we're on the home stretch now. <laughs> I really, I really, really thought that we would get a lot further today than we have. But do you know what? It's fine. Isn't it? It really is fine. It's fine. The sun's shining now. And the birds are twittering. And I'm happy. And I hope you are. And now we're really in tune, aren't we? You see? Just have to adjust the thinking a little bit. And slow the head down. Just fine tune it. Oh, that one's gone a bit dodgy. It's all right. Do you know what this reminds me of? It, now, why does this remind me of, of Tudor windows? It reminds me of like Henry VIII and windows like a Hever Castle. Or, it's got that look to it, hasn't it? This bit here. Hey? God, it looks so pretty up close. See, and I don't think you'd get the same impact if you rushed it one two three because all the diamonds are the same size for a start they're like leaded, little leaded windows it's really nice but by the time you've gone all the way around you've nailed it <laughs> one two three 
three. That's the truth as well, isn't it? This is so nice. So, if you thought about it, this would make a smashing... I mean, we're just doing uh, little pieces, but this would look so pretty in a long... Right, now let's have a look at this up close now. Let's have a look. We Isn't that lovely? What does that remind you of? So it's 5 to 11 already. It can't be. You're joking. So we've been doing this for an hour. <laughs> and all we've managed to do is the... Sw no, that's not true. Why am I saying all we've managed to do? That's wrong, Grey. What we've managed to do is get these right, get that beautiful thing right. So what we'll do now... Right, you ready? Right, now we need the grid behind. I'll give you some homework, shall I? Yeah? Because we're not going to get to the last bit. We're not going to get to the... Mind you, it's only that bit there. Let's do the... We'll do the last bit together on, on Wednesday, but let's do these shad the shading bit in those birds, right? Watch. Let me get my eye in. Right. So what we're going to do on this is we're going to go... You go up the middle first, and then you do two on either side. Watch. So you're going to come up the middle, but not all the way. Just like to there and to there. So... So I'm not, they're not joining in the middle. You just get to, just inside of that line. So if I, if I take, if I put this inside, you'll see. I only need to show you one or two, like that, see? And then, if I do it without the grid, you'll see it better. Then, then on this side, you go back from it, from the centre again, and you go out and out again. So you do two. So you go from there to there and there to there, and then back again. So it's up to you whether you start, maybe you've got more control if you do that, if you start there and go into the corner. You might feel it's up to you whether you want to come out or go in. But what you want to do is go to, wait, that's when you need the grid. So you go the centre one like that, like that's the long one, like that. And then in you come and they get shorter as they go out. Like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. That's what it looks like. Let me come in real close so you can see it. Hang on, on camera. So if I show you real close, like that, you see? So when you take it away, so you can see it better like that. So that's what you're doing. And it's easier, top tip, I think, if you... Use the wheel to get the centre line in, like that and like that, and then get then get white. I think you got you can see better if it's white behind, and then you're just going to come in one two, one two, and you just follow the shape of the petal. That was a bit ropey, but in the big picture it'll be wunderbar. So how about? Between now and Wednesday, 10 o'clock, when we all hang out again together, how about you go round and do those, those, those lines? And don't worry if you don't. It would only take you 10 minutes to catch up on Wednesday. There's no pressure. There are no experts in the building. Nobody's judging your work. But what we'll do then on Wednesday, when we get together, well, depends how much time we've got, we're definitely going to go to the next finishing trick, put the next level of art onto our mandala. Should we do that? And then, um, and then we've got to start. We've got, we've got to do the, the uh, the four seasons. So my hope is that we'll be able to do that on um, on Wednesday. And if not, we'll do it on Friday, and that's okay, isn't it? Hey, yeah, it's fine. You could sort of look at it as two separate projects. The mandalas are one thing. And then the, the little winter scenes, spring scenes, season scenes. The season scenes. That's what we're going to call them. Doodling the season scenes. Yeah, that sounds good. So I'm going to leave it there. Um, 
Lucy, thank you so much for your help. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I hope that it set you up for the day. That's all we're doing. We're just redirecting our thinking a little bit, you know, just adjusting that frequency level, get tuned in, get a bit of gratitude going, smile, look on the bright side of life, remember? And, uh, and I'll see you on Wednesday, I hope, at 10 o'clock. Be safe and uh, be creative and stay happy. Bye-bye now.